Welcome to The Pilates Show, where we explore creative and innovative Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. I'm your host, Casey Marie Hart, and today we're gonna to be talking about proprioception with scoliosis. So I'm so lucky and excited to be working in um, our Fusion studio because we do so many kind of out of the box work. And Jen brought in these little rivets and there are these really simple massage tools that a lot of people get for the holidays and you can get them at lots of retail stores or online. But what it is is it's a simple device that you can turn on and it does a little vibrating dance. Now, the reason why we're using this today is to really talk about scoliosis. So I'm someone who lives with scoliosis, have lots of clients with lateral deviations, or even clients that just have a hard time being in their body and sensing where they're at in space. We're gonna take a lot of help from this little ribbit to help them orient themselves in a position that typically is really difficult for a client to know where their spine is and that's in this four-point kneeling position. You know, while lying in supine, it's really easy to prop up the body to find that easy neutral positioning, but the minute they're on knees and hands, since it's such a, such a different place to be in space, a lot of people lose all sense of how they're supposed to organize and know where to move from. So the little vibration that this little froggy ribbit's gonna do not only gives that very direct signal to their back body, which most people need so that they can move differently, it's also helping the health of their connective tissue via the vibration and in their fascia. It helps to disperse all of the the nice fluid around it and really get people to awaken their senses and move in a different way, which is really what we're trying to do in the Pilates studio all the time. So I'm gonna have Anne go into four point kneeling. I have some non-slip pads for her hands. You can always pad it up for people that are sensitive in the palms. And Anne is such a beautiful mover. She might not need something like this, but it's always nice to just turn on this little ribbit guy and then move up and down the spine. I love the shirt that Anne has. And this is kind of nice because it shows this little ruffle is exactly where her spine is. So I'm just igniting her whole neurological system to really feel what's happening at the level of her spine. And I'm gonna let this ribbit stop right at her sacrum. So those two front little guys are sitting right on her SI joints. Now, she has a nice neutral posi position here, but what I'm gonna have her do with one blue spring, light spring, she's gonna slide her knees in without dropping the ribbit. That's the first part. And then the knees go back. She's doing a gorgeous job. And so what you can do is cue your clients, deep abdominals or even femur heads to go right to these feet as she slides. Gorgeous, knees come back. I'm gonna move this up to her upper core now. We did the lower core. Now I'm right on rhomboids, there. And she can feel exactly where this guy is sitting in space. And she did this nice little wiggle that actually opened up her mid back, which is gorgeous. I want you to give a little bit more of your back ribs and vertebra good. Now externally rotate the arms a little bit and have your elbows look back towards the springs. Lovely. Now, working from this, like your arms come out of this little ribbit, you're gonna pull yourself forward. And so this takes a lot of the mystery out of where we want people to move from. They can sensory feel this area. It's not some conceptual place. It's not an intellectual place. It's now a kinesthetic place to move from. Beautiful, thank you so much, Anne. So go to your large retailers today or on um, online and buy yourself a ribbit and your clients will thank you. That's all for today. If you have an observation or a question that you'd like to see answered in an upcoming episode, please comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or our forum. See you next time and never stop learning. Okay. Okay. I'm just kidding about it. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Welcome to. Uh, I can't even talk now. Okay. Focus, Casey.